Hey everyone, it's Andrew Schmitz here from Proceed.app. Today I'm talking about crowdsourcing as a knowledge management strategy for businesses. Uh, so knowledge manager is often one of the many hats that small business leaders wear. And oftentimes, small business leaders are not in a position to invest as much time and maybe as much money as they'd like into knowledge management. Yet, they know that knowledge management is a significant pillar to the future success and growth of the business. So distributing the right knowledge to the right people is really quite tricky, but also creating content that can be distributed, that can be even more challenging. So maybe you don't have time to document your business, or maybe you don't even know how certain parts of the business work because you've hired rock star employees or teammates that just handle it for you. How can you make sure that all of this important knowledge that the business depends on is documented. This is where crowdsourcing comes in. Crowdsourcing, if you're not familiar, is when you enlist a large group of people to help achieve a goal that benefits the common good. In today's world, you can crowdsource literally anything, from ideas to cash, whatever it is. Crowdsourcing business knowledge happens when you empower the people in your organization to have the ability to contribute knowledge to a knowledge center. People contribute knowledge knowing that their creation will help the organization down the road. Crowdsourcing company knowledge can take on many different forms and shapes, but depending on the people and the business. Also important to note, culture plays a significant role in how successful crowdsourcing um, company knowledge is within your business. So the top reasons why we think crowdsourcing company knowledge is great for small businesses includes Offloading some work from you or from management, um, you know, it can free up time so that you can focus on other things in the business or so that you can, you know, just step away from the business for a while if you need. Um, it also gives a sense of empowerment and ownership to the employees. They feel like they can contribute to the future success of the business, and that feels good to a lot of people. Um, it can also bring SOPs and training documents closer to reality. A lot of times, how things are actually done and how things are documented can be very different. But if you ask the people who are actually doing it to document, um, you can oftentimes get these documents closer to, act, to the reality of things, which is really helpful. The top reasons we hear for hesitation towards crowdsourcing company knowledge include frequently um, the, cr the creation of content is open-ended and non-restricted, right? So it sounds kind of like chaos. You get all these people working on different things, submitting it and publishing it. Uh, it can get really messy really quickly. Um, also, maintaining standard formatting is really tricky. Um, and then there's also this opportunity for wasting time by creating duplicates of knowledge articles, maybe because people didn't realize that they were documented already, or maybe they're working on it at the same time. Whatever it is, there's this uh, opportunity for waste that people don't like. So it kind of all sounds messy, right? Um, but here's where a structured crowdsourcing strategy can make an incredible difference. Uh, some common attributes that you would find in a structured approach to crowdsourcing would include, um, instead of allowing anyone and everyone to contribute, invite people to contribute their strengths to the knowledge base. For example, if you have an employee who's particularly great at running uh, like say an end of day report, ask them to document it uh, instead of someone else or allowing someone else who maybe isn't as good as they are. Um, offer simple templates, recipes, and training materials. Um, kind of set a standard, but uh, you can set the standard, but the most important part is making sure that people realize that the standard exists and that the standard is accessible and easy to use. Uh, so simplify these things, uh, but templates can be really helpful and really handy. Um, have a check in place before publishing the knowledge to the rest of the company. Um, this is sometimes referred to as like having a gatekeeper, which is uh, also really important. You want to make sure that the knowledge that's in uh, being crowdsourced and that's in your company knowledge center is top notch and exactly what you would expect um, and what you want future employees and current employees to be able to reference. Um, the quality is really important. Uh, so of course, um, there are platforms like Proceed.app that help make structured crowdsourcing easy and practical. 
um, I encourage you to check it out. Um, we at Proceed.app, a lot of our clients love the crowdsourcing features that we have uh, and making crowdsourcing more manageable and less of a headache. Um, but of course, you don't really even need technology to take advantage of crowdsourcing. You can get really creative um, and meet your organization where they're at, you know, if, where they're at with their comfort level of technology or where they're at for ease of just getting stuff documented. Uh, any, any way you do it, I highly recommend a structured crowdsourcing approach if you're trying to systemize and document your business. Uh, well, thanks a lot for listening today. Um, feel free to share this, uh, and I encourage you to check out Proceed.app. Thanks a lot, and have a good one.